Hi everyone, kumusta kayo? My name is Jan Angelo and mag-uusap na naman tayo about skincare, skincare, and skincare. So, make sure to keep watching. So, for this video, we have another highly requested topic from you guys. We're going to be doing an updated list on the best gel type moisturizers. And especially since parating na rin ang summer and mas nagiging hot and humid na dito sa Pilipinas kapag ganitong season, yung mga oily and even combination skin types might want to make their moisturizers lighter para mas comfortable and hindi siya malagkit sa skin. And in fairness guys, and dami rin kasi talagang magagandang bagong releases na gel type moisturizers sa skincare scene natin ngayon. So I will be letting you guys know which ones are my top picks. So with that being said, wala nang any-any guys, let us begin. So as per usual, inorganize ko yung mga best gel type moisturizers natin into three different budget levels. Starting with our first budget level, this is for those na maraming budget. And again guys, kung quality at quality lang talaga ang pag-uusapan, I do have one top recommendation sa budget level na to. And ito, hindi ko lang siya favorite, pero favorite din siya ng maraming skincare enthusiasts internationally, including dermatologists. This one is from none other than the brand Avino, and this is their Calm and Restore Oat Gel Moisturizer. Now ito guys, US product to, so medyo mahal pa siya ngayon kasi sa Shopee and Lazada mo pa lang siya mabibili through yung mga resellers. And honestly guys, nakakaingit talaga si Avino. I wish dalhin nila to dito sa Pilipinas kasi ang ganda-ganda talaga, hindi lang ng moisturizer na to, but actually the entire Calm and Restore line. A lot of their products are targeted not just for oily or combination skin, pero meron din silang mga products for dry skin types, and especially dahil Avino nga, for sensitive skin types also. Now, let's start first with the hydrating and moisturizing ingredients in this product. This does have glycerin, which helps hydrate and hold water sa skin natin. This also has dimethicone, which helps the product feel more lightweight and silky sa skin natin, while at the same time sealing in yung hydration. And also very high on the ingredients list, we have oat kernel flour, which is yung superstar ingredient talaga ng mga Avino products. Products, since oat extract is really known for having great soothing and anti-inflammatory properties, which means okay na okay siya for sensitive and even irritated skin types. And speaking of that, this moisturizer is also fragrance-free. But actually, aside from irritated and sensitive skin types, I think perfect na perfect match talaga to, specifically for those na acne-prone and have dry patches, or even just irritation sa ilang mga areas ng face nila from the acne medications na tinatake nila. As in, kapag kailangan mo talaga ng extra na soothing moisture sa morning or evening routine mo, this is really going to be a comfortable but also nourishing na choice. Now, as for the texture and consistency of this product, this starts off as somewhat a heavy gel, and then kapag spread mo siya onto your skin, it instantly feels very nourishing, but the more you blend it, parang palightweight ng palightweight yung texture niya, and it finishes onto the skin very, very natural and very comfortable lang din yung feeling niya of hydration and moisture. And for those na matagal lang nanonood ng mga videos ko, andito rin kasi yung quality ng isang gel type moisturizer na gustong gusto ko talaga, and that is, yung parang hydrating siya, pero nafe-feel mo na na-seal in yung hydration. As in, yung hindi bigla-biglang nawawala or parang wala lang yung feeling ng product. And again, like I have said before, wala namang masama sa ganun. But personally, if sensitive and combination skin ka kasi, mas maganda talaga yung nafe-feel mo yung hydration sa skin or nagsistay yung hydration dun. Especially if meron kang dry patches or irritated parts of your skin. So that's why I really, really love this. Ang hindi ko nga lang masyadong love dito is the price because on Lazada and Shopee, you can get this at around $1.4 to $1.5 na price range for 48 grams. So definitely not for everyone, but again, if meron kang budget for this, this is an automatic recommendation, especially if your skin is oily but also gets sensitive or irritated. Pero kung wala kayong budget for this, as usual, walang problema guys, because we still have a lot of good options in our next budget level. This is for those na medyo may budget. So let's start with the product na all-time favorite ko, and ito rin yung top pick ko sa previous video ko about gel type moisturizers. And dahil ang dami rin talaga sa inyong nagustuhan yung product na to. This is from none other than the Korean brand Hamish and this is their Watermelon Moisture Soothing Gel Cream. And ito talaga guys sa mga long time viewers ng channel ko you already know kung gaano ka OG talaga yung product na to sa akin and how early ko siyang na-discover as in nung hindi pa siya sikat, hindi pa ito yung pangalan niya na-discover ko na siya, ginagamit ko na siya. And I'm so happy na since then ang dami na sa inyo nakapag-discover sa product na to because it really really deserves all the recognition. Na yung ko lang ngayon is yung sampler size kasi nawawala yung isang full size na binigay sa akin ni Hamish. Nung nag-move out kasi ako dito, papunta sa condo, ang dami ko nang nawalang skincare. But don't worry guys, kasi kung gusto niyo ng full review nito, na-review ko naman na siya ng in-depth sa previous video ko on the best gel type moisturizers. Kasi nga, top option to dun. And if you want to check that video out, I will link it here. And by far, this is really still one of the most solid gel type moisturizers from a Korean brand. And I'm so happy kasi ngayon guys, mas mura na talaga siya. Dati umaabot to ng 1K, pero ngayon, this is just at 600 to 700 pesos, 
for 110 ml. And guys, and daming product na rin talaga nun. Now, on the topic of Korean brands, we now move on to our next option, which is a newcomer sa list na to. But actually, matagal na tong product na to sa Korean skincare. This is from another one of my favorite Korean brands. It's the Isn't Tree Hyaluronic Acid Aqua Gel Cream. Now, this one actually, napag-usapan ko na rin siya in one of my older videos. Luma pa yung packaging niya nun, hindi pa siya na-redesign. Although, same pa rin naman yung texture and consistency niya. Ang nagbago lang talaga is from 80 ml, ginawa nilang mas sulit at 100 ml for the same price. Now, let's dive in a bit sa ingredients nito. This is a water-based moisturizer and meron din siyang hydrating ingredients like methylpropaneol, glycerin, betaine, trialose, and of course, yung superstar ng product na to, which is hyaluronic acid. But aside from that, we also have methyl trimethicone and cyclohexasiloxane, which helps keep the product lightweight and also seals in hydration sa skin natin. And then, nagdagdag pa si Isentry dito ng additional 8 soothing plant extracts like centella asiatica, Chinese skullcap, licorice, green tea, heart leaf, rosemary, chamomile, and aloe. And in fairness kay Isentry guys, ha, nakakaloka, ang dami rin talaga nilang nilagay dito. Now, texture-wise, sa simula, this looks like a cream, pero kapag spinned mo siya onto the skin, you really do feel yung pagka-watery niya. And it sets onto a natural finish na medyo shiny sa simula, but the more you blend it onto your skin, or if you wait to let it dry a little, hindi na siya nagiging shiny at all. So another really comfortable option to use as a moisturizer in the summertime, if you want more hydration than a toner or an essence, pero ayaw mo yung parang sobrang kintab sa face, this one really hits the spot well. Now price-wise, this is at the 500 to 600 plus price range for 100 ml, so another really good value for your money, especially kung hindi ka naman marami gumamit ng moisturizer. Kapag ganun ka, hindi talaga ito mabilis mauubos. Plus for those who like the Hamish, pero ayaw nyo yung jar packaging niya, ayaw yung hinahawakan yung mga products nyo for any reason. As you can see, this one is conveniently in two packaging. Alright, so from options na galing sa Korean skincare, move naman tayo to some really good local options. And sa budget level na to, yung mga local options natin are really perfect for those na gusto ng moisturizer na sobrang mabilis lang mag-absorb. Maraming may favorite na to, especially for our hot and humid climate dito sa Pilipinas. So dalawa yung next moisturizers natin and they're actually from two different brands but medyo similar kasi sila so I want to be able to help you choose. And these moisturizers are the Elana Stay Fresh Moisturizer and the Quick FX Pimple Eraser Water Gel. Now both of these na-mention ko na siya sa best local skincare na video ko pero hindi ko siya masyadong na-focusan sa video na yon because ang dami talaga mga products sa video na yon. So we'll be going a little more in-depth with these two sa video na to. So let's start off first with the ingredients of these two products. Both of these moisturizers have niacinamide which is again great for oily skin and for targeting dark spots. Now on one hand, ito si Elana has more hydrating and skin smoothening ingredients like for example, squalane, panthenol, glycerin, and saccharide isomerate which is actually a sugar na hydrating sa skin. And additionally, meron din siyang green tea and centella asiatica to help soothe the skin. On the other hand, ito namang si Quick FX, it also has hydrating ingredients like glycerin, caprylyl glycol, butylene glycol, and it also has hydration sealing ingredients like dimethicone and cyclopentosiloxane. And good news to sensitive skin types, both are fragrance-free. Now, when it comes to ingredients, if you're looking for more soothing and hydrating ingredients, I do suggest you go with this one kay Elana. But if you do want a moisturizer na mas airy, lightweight, and silky smooth yung feeling sa skin, and can also help prevent dry patches throughout the day, especially kung combination to oily ka, then go for Quick FX. And guys, you really will see what I mean kapag nakita nyo yung side-by-side -side ko na comparison on the texture of these products. So both of them start off as a gel cream, and then when you spread them onto your skin, they both feel watery at first. Now, si Elana, consistently hydration yung mafe-feel mo sa kanya and it becomes lighter and lighter the more you spread it. While si Quick FX naman turns into this very airy, silky smooth finish. And at the end, both finish off on the skin soft matte. So based on comparison na yun, for me, kung naghahanap kayo ng day moisturizer to put under your sunscreen, I think Elana is superior sa ganon and more comfortable sa skin. Pero kung gusto nyo ng konti pang hydration and moisture and you also get some dry patches, I think mas balanced yung pagka-lightweight ni Quick FX and it's something that you could use day or night. And additionally, if you're the type who wears makeup, fun fact, itong kay Quick FX can also work as a primer para mas maganda yung lagay ng makeup sa skin mo. Na price-wise naman, Elana is at 449 for 60 ml. Not bad and medyo accessible din to. You can find it sa mga SM or Landmark na department stores na merong Elana stall. Meanwhile, slightly mas palaban yung accessibility ni Quick FX because this is at 360 to 399 for 50 ml and aside from department stores available din to sa mga Watsons. Now as you can see guys, both are really really good options. It really just boils down to kung ano ba talaga yung gusto mo mangyari from your moisturizer. And yun yung parang pinaka magiging 
deciding factor nyo talaga. But if your budget is still lower than 300 pesos, don't worry guys kasi ang dami pa nating ibang mga options. As we move on to our final budget level na favorite ninyong lahat, this is the budget level for those na nagtitipid or may drugstore budget. Now in fairness guys ha, even below 300 pesos, there are still a lot of really good options for gel type moisturizers na madali lang din hanapin. As in, in fairness, kapag ngayon kayo naghahanap ng gel type moisturizer, swear ka talaga kayo, there has really not been a better time. So let's start first with an online exclusive for those na tinatamad or masyadong busy lumabas, mas gusto nyo sa online bumibili. This is one of the newer products that I've tried from one of our local brands. And this brand is of course one of my favorites. It's Soul Apothecary and it's their Hydra Water Gel Cream. Nito guys, medyo unique siya in the way na nasa gitna siya ng dalawang kinds natin of gel type moisturizers. This one is more on the hydrating side and mafe-feel mo talaga na hydrating siya sa skin. But at the same time, out of all the moisturizers na merong hydrating na feel, this one in my opinion absorbs the fastest. So in that regard, medyo may balance siya. So nahin natin yung ingredients nito. This does have a lot of hydrating ingredients like butylene and hexylene glycol, glycerin, and even lactobacillus ferment lysate which is a probiotic na hindi lang hydrating but also soothing to irritated skin. Now this also does have some skin smoothening ingredients like squalane but also hydration sealing ingredients like dimethicone, caprylomethicone, and phenyltrimethicone which also help the product feel more lightweight and easy to blend sa skin. Plus surprisingly, meron din tong 2% tranexamic acid which could be helpful for those na merong red marks and could also be a booster kung meron kang serum na ginagamit na merong niacinamide or retinol. And also for those na sensitive ang skin, good news, this is fragrance free. So all in all, very balanced yung moisturizing ingredients nito along with some nice to have na beneficial brightening ingredients as well. Now as for the texture of this product, it does say gel cream but honestly in my opinion, this comes out as just a gel and then kapag sprinted mo siya onto your skin, it does feel very hydrating and very slightly moisturizing on the skin. It does look shiny at first but the more you blend it or kapag inantay mo siyang mag-dry, it actually finishes off natural and non-shiny. And I really like how this gives hydration but just the right amount para maging lightweight lang siya. Now price-wise, this is just at 250 pesos per 30 ml. Not bad and if you do decide you like it, meron pa siyang bigger version na 50 ml for 399 pesos. But if you do want more product for what you're paying for, don't worry guys because we still have more options coming for you in this budget level. Na sulit na sulit talaga yung price per ml nila and napaka accessible pa niya. You can buy these all at Watsons. And for this one guys, ang dami ko talagang options na mabibigay sa inyo. I do have three options na na-mention ko na before but I also do have one new option sa Watsons na for me, ito talaga yung pinakasulit na mabibili mong moisturizer doon na gel type. Sobrang siksik pa yung price per ml niya, maganda din yung formulation and very lightweight lang din sa skin. So let's start first with the three na na-mention ko na before. These are the Celetech Hydration Facial Moisturizer, the Lux Organic Sika Soothing Gel and the Fresh Skin Lab Jeju Aloe Ice Soothing Gel Lotion. Now itong tatlo na to guys, there is a reason kung bakit pa ulit-ulit ko talaga silang mention in my videos. Very reliable kasi talaga sila. 100 plus lang yung price nila lahat and they're very easy to find in any Watsons and also so easy to buy online. Pero ito guys, nabigyan ko na silang lahat ng full in-depth review. So if you do want to see that, ililink ko na lang yung video dito. But just to quickly compare the three of them kung nahihirapan kayong pumili, if you are looking for a moisturizer with niacinamide, go with this one, yung Jeju Aloe Ice. If gusto mo ng soothing, go with the Lux Organic Sika. And then, if gusto mo ng straightforward na plain gel type moisturizer lang, go with this one by Celatec. But either way, if your skin is oily, you really cannot go wrong with any of these three. Pero guys, sa maraming times ko na napagtambay at pagbili ko ng skincare sa mga Watsons, meron akong bagong favorite na very recently ko lang siya na-discover. And nakatago kasi siya sa Watsons, kaya hindi ko siya masyadong napapansin. But this for me might just be one of the best gel type moisturizers na makukuha mo doon. And this option is also our final product in this video. I did save the best for last. It is the Lux Baby Gentle Gel Lotion. And yes, hindi ko talaga akalain na nakatago sa baby section yung magiging favorite na gel type moisturizer ko. But here we are kasi ito talaga guys, there is so much to love about it. So first, let's start with the ingredients of this product. This does have hydrating ingredients like butylene glycol, glycerin, betaine, and arginine or arginine which is also skin soothing. Meron din siyang mga skin smoothening ingredients like glyceryl sterate, ceteryl olivate, and sorbitan olivate, and also macadamia seed oil. And it also even has shea butter which not only smoothens the skin but also helps seal in hydration. And bigay na gentle gel lotion nga siya, they also did add a lot of soothing ingredients here like calendula, 
granola, aloe, licorice root, cucumber, first lane, and pea extract. P as in PEA ha, baka may ihi. Charo. And also good news for those na merong sensitive skin dahil nga baby product to, it is also fragrance free. So very decent ingredients siya to be able to soothe and moisturize the skin. But yung consistency din talaga nito guys is a winner. So this one comes out as a very watery white gel. And when you spread it onto your skin, it instantly melts into something very watery. And sobrang press ko lang talaga yung feeling niya sa skin. Now this does blend quite fast onto a hydrating but very lightweight and comfortable finish na mukhang natural at first but can actually dry down slightly matte. And guys, ang ganda talaga ng lagay nito sa skin ko. It doesn't feel sticky. Tamang balance lang talaga siya of moisturizing ingredients. And of course, the fact na soothing pa siya on the skin is really, really helpful as well. Especially if you're the type na gumagamit ka ng skincare actives. Na price-wise, palaban na palaban din to because this is at 199 pesos for 150 grams already. And if hindi ka naman OA gumamit ng moisturizer, I would say yung 199 na ginastos mo dito is really going to last you a long time. And that's why love na love ko talaga to. And this for me is really shaping up to be my gel type moisturizer for the summertime na gagamitin ko during the day kasi ganun talaga siya ka-comfortable. And the best part is this is so easy to get. Nasa Watsons lang din to. But if you do still want to buy this product online, of course, available pa rin siya doon. And as per usual, naglagay na ako ng mga links to this product and to other products that I've mentioned in this video sa description box para hindi na kayo mahirapang hanapin sila. So ayun na siya guys. I hope you do find the best gel type moisturizer for you. And if you do have other skincare products for oily skin na kailangan ninyo ng recommendations for, let me know sa description box if meron kayong mga requests. Also, if you did find this video informative, please do leave me a thumbs up and subscribe for more content like this. And also, if you need more videos on oily skin, I will be leaving more helpful videos here. And as usual, guys, I will see you in the next video. Bye!